What is going on guys? It is your boy Bus Plays coming back at you with another YouTube video. Now today is something different, but it's a bit of a rant slash kind of a you know keep your eyes open for this type of stuff. Today is all about this scuff gaming controller. I have the impact controller right there. I don't know if it's gonna focus. I've got the scuff impact controller. I've had two scuff controllers. I'm probably gonna be getting my third scuff controller in like a couple weeks' time. But this controller in the clips down below, you'll be seeing what happens when you drop a scuff controller, let alone a normal PS4 controller, three times on the floor. Two times that I did it, nothing actually really happened severely. Like I dropped it on like the, the bottom, not on the top. The third time that I dropped it, it was on top of the analog sticks. Now this, I'm just making it a video because I want to make you guys aware. If you have a scuff controller, do not drop it on the sticks. Please don't drop your controller on the sticks. Basically, I can't use this controller anymore when gaming. Uh, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to try and get it repaired by scuff. So I'll probably do that in a couple of months. But I want to get this scuff controller. So I have two controllers that do work properly. Uh, because I don't really have a backup controller. Those I'd use on my backup controller. I don't have a normal PS4 controller. I'm so used to using a scuff controller because of the paddles. I don't even use the inner paddles. I just use the outer paddles. Which is kind of a, I, I, don't, I only got it because it's a bigger controller than the PS4. And I thought it'd be a lot better. I'm making this video to make all of the scuff controller users out there aware that this good controller... But when it breaks, it breaks and you are seeing now down below in the clips how bad it can get. Now, obviously, there's no clips of me using it with the controller. I'm not using it's the right analog stick, which is completely busted. And I'm not using this at all in the clips down below, obviously, to aim, etc. But when you're aiming, it tends to throw your aiming to the left and it will actually start rotating your character <laughs> anti-clockwise. And it'll make you do stupid shit and it's just really annoying you can't really get a good gameplay so hence why i'm going to be struggling with clips and videos and gameplays for the next couple of weeks till i get a new controller because i can't really do anything with this uh, i generally just can't do anything with this controller as of yet so i want to make you guys aware and i hope you do enjoy this video and do learn something don't drop your controller like that you can drop it like that twice and it may still work but i would not recommend dropping your controller do not drop your controller guys please don't drop your controller and yeah i'll catch you guys later with another video and uh, hopefully it's something different uh, i've got a few ideas in mind let me know in the comment section below if you got any ideas for me to do and i'll catch you guys later peace Almost at the point of fader right now. It's up there. me, man. Where the fuck's that key? <laughs> Can't even tell. Nade. Oh my god, this controller's f. Ah. Them two holding hands.
Ya me gusta. Uy. Uy. Thank you.